Peter Horton and Linda Hamilton play a young couple who really should have stuck to the highway because the scenic route leads through Gatlin, an Iowa town overtaken by a clan of corn-worshipping kids who don't take kindly to Outlanders. A couple years ago, I reviewed the standard Blu-ray for Children of the Corn that Arrow Video released. I'll post a link to that review right here. Now, I won't go into that much detail on the film here as I did in that video, but I do want to discuss it just a bit before diving into how great the film looks in 4K. If you're a child of the 80s and early 90s, there's no doubt that you've seen Children of the Corn, and most likely a few times. There's something about Children of the Corn that resonates. There's just something unsettling about bloodthirsty religious zealots. But bloodthirsty religious zealots who are kids? Kids who murdered every adult in town and now live this primitive existence while following the word of he who walks behind the rose, a deity who resides in the corn and to whom they sacrifice themselves to on their 19th birthday. You see, adults are impure, driven by greed and desire. Yet murder is okay with he who walks behind the rose. Maybe that should have set off a few red flags, letting the kiddos know that maybe they've backed the wrong pony. Throw in the Midwestern setting, the corn, the sickles, the hatchets, the scythes. Oh my. The cast is strong, including Peter Horton and a pre-Terminator Linda Hamilton. John Franklin is excellent as Isaac, the boy preacher who delivers the word. And Courtney Gaines is creepy as all get out as Malachi, who delivers the wrath. And you have that super creepy theme with the choir of children... Although Children of the Corn doesn't rank as one of the best Stephen King adaptations, it's definitely one of the most memorable. Having securely planted its seed in pop culture, the film's been harvesting nightmares and reaping new fans for decades now. As for this new 4K UHD release from Arrow Video, it is a vast improvement over the standard Blu-ray. The UHD presentation lacks the thick grain that was present during the darker sequences. The picture quality is far sharper and nicely defined. The UHD provides a high level of detail. The skin tones look natural and the color palette is plentiful. What grain is present isn't obstructive or detrimental to the overall presentation. Children of the Corn looks absolutely remarkable on this new 4K UHD release from Arrow Video and is 100% worth the upgrade. This is a 4K release that I would recommend to even the most ardent non-believer in the format. Comparing it to the standard Blu-ray release, there's no denying what 4K can do. The DTSD HD 5.1 audio complements the UHD presentation wonderfully. Overall, I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a perfect score. Five out of five for both. Let's take a look at the presentation. This release comes with a slipcase featuring killer new artwork by Gary Pullen. There's the 4K disc. This release comes with a booklet featuring essays by John Sullivan and Lee Gambon. The sleeve is reversible, and on the reverse we have the original poster art for Children of the Corn. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Harvesting Horror, a retrospective documentary featuring interviews with director Fritz Kirsch and actors John Franklin and Courtney Gaines. It's 36 minutes and 17 seconds in length. Mr. Kirsch discusses how he got involved in directing the film, the story, scouting locations, casting, and pre-production. John Franklin and Courtney Gaines discuss getting cast and how they prepared for their roles. Mr. Kirsch discusses working with Linda Hamilton, shooting on location in Iowa and the cornfields. They discuss how warm and welcoming the locals were, uh, the all-nighters they pulled to finish the film, and the special effects. They discuss the film's impact on pop culture, its fandom, and more. Next we have It Was the 80s, an interview with Linda Hamilton. It's 14 minutes and 8 seconds in length. Miss Hamilton discusses auditioning for and getting cast in the film, being a fan of Stephen King, how much she loved shooting in Iowa, the crew spray painting the corn green because it changed colors too quickly. She discusses working with Peter Horton, John Franklin, Courtney Gaines, her love of physicality in her roles, the film's lasting impact, and more. 
Next, we have And a Child Shall Lead Them, interviews with actors Julie Maddalena and John Philbin. It's 50 minutes and 51 seconds in length. They both discuss the audition, getting cast, and their characters in the film. They discuss shooting on, on location in Iowa, working with the local actors, the killer kid subgenre, and being a part of that subgenre. They discuss the film's success, the sequels, their most treasured memories from the film, and more. Next, we have Field of Nightmares, an interview with writer George Goldsmith. It's 17 minutes and 18 seconds in length. Mr. Goldsmith discusses his background writing poetry, essays, and journalism. He discusses his first writing gigs and getting hired to rewrite Stephen, Stephen King's own adaptation of his short story and King's, deta King's distaste for his script. He discusses how pleased he is with the film and more. Next, we have Stephen King on a shoestring, an interview with producer Donald P. Borchers. It's 11 minutes and 19 seconds in length. Mr. Borchers discusses first interviewing Sam Raimi to direct Children of the Corn, being a big fan of Stephen King, adapting King's short story to the screen, casting, location scouting, shooting on a low budget, the film's success, and more. Next, we have Return to Gatlin, a look back at the filming locations in Iowa with webmaster and Children of the Corn historian John Sullivan. It's 16 minutes and 32 seconds in length. Mr. Sullivan takes us on a guided tour of the shooting locations, and we get interviews with locals who were around during filming. Next, we have Cut from the Cornfield, an interview with actor Rich Kleinberg on the infamous lost blue man scene. It's five minutes and 33 seconds in length. Mr. Kleinberg discusses being a community theater actor and getting cast to play the blue man. He discusses the character, the blue man's demise, and how it all ended up on the cutting room floor. We get a storyboard gallery and the trailer. We get the short film adaptation of Children of the Corn entitled Disciples of the Crow, which was shot one year prior to the feature film version. It's 18 minutes and 55 seconds in length, and I liked it. We get two audio commentaries, one with cast and crew and the other with Justin Beam and John Sullivan. Overall, this is an absolutely gorgeous 4K UHD presentation for Children of the Corn from the fine folks over at Aero Video. Again, I cannot say enough about how great this film looks in 4K and what a vast improvement it is over the standard Blu-ray release. And we get a lot of new and old extras to boot. If you're a fan of Children of the Corn, this release is absolutely worth the upgrade if you already own the Blu-ray. If not, this release definitely should be in your collection. If you picked up this 4K release from Arrow Video, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. Let me know what your favorite Children of the Corn sequel is down in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.